Now, I ain't gonna necessarily lie. There's a lot of times where I see people that be talking about a certain character is not a lolly when it's clearly obvious that they really are, honestly. And that's because the rules of the lolly is not really a defined, definite rule, honestly. A at least in Japanese anime media, honestly. There's no Japanese artists that come out of nowhere to be like, this is what defines a lolly, this is the rules, and all this type of stuff. Because the rules can be easily, just like anything in art in general, shot out the damn window. Mainly because you can always develop something new when it comes to it. You can always develop something that no one has ever seen regarding a subject, honestly. So by giving Lolly a specific set of rules, it kind of just would be pointless, especially if people are going to break said rules and it's going to be a Lolly character and it's still considered one even if you change things up. So to be perfectly honest, there is no definitive rule about it, but the things that people go by is the body type or sometimes the age, which granted the age really does not matter and that's one of the things I would say that can chuck itself out the window. So really what you want to focus on is the body type. A flat chest, a flat no ass having person type of thing. Also the fact that they're short and, that's, and they look young as hell. To be perfectly honest, if it fits that category, if it fits that description, that is a lolly regardless of how you feel. And Tatsumaki is definitely one of those. I do not understand when people be saying Tatsumaki is not one. Honestly, there was a moment in time, I ain't gonna lie, where I did think, maybe I'm wrong about this one. But no, kind of looking back at it again, it, it, I feel like everybody else is wrong, but I'm right on this. I'm, I'm not necessarily gonna lie. Like, 100%, I am so tired of people being like, no, Tatsumaki's a short stack, or having the short stack debate, honestly, because I just want to call something a lolly and just be on my damn way, because I'm so tired of trying to, you know, figure out complaints and figure out some way to justify that it is the case. Tatsumaki is a lolly in the discussion, if you don't like it, you can eat shit, honestly. <laughs> and then it got me thinking, realistically, at least in my personal opinion, who else would I consider a lolly, honestly? just off the body type of alone, honestly. So, one of the bigger characters I would say a lot of people will probably classify as a lot as a short stack, honestly, would be Mitna. I'm not necessarily gonna lie, I am very quick and just very easy just to call her a lolly, just because. Like, yeah, she's not necessarily human, and yeah, she's not necessarily, you know, exactly what you would think she is, but 100% it kind of fits a little bit. I mean she does have a flat chest. Technically she's not all that stacked up honestly and when it comes down to things and yeah she's an imp but when it comes down to things that still doesn't matter honestly if you really think about it like put it in this perspective. You know how there's like monster girls and stuff like that and how they kind of have lolly characters and those type of shows like Poppy the Harpy honestly from Monster Musume and people call that a lolly. So, this kind of floats, floats the same boat. They don't necessarily have to be human to, you know, fit the lolly description as long as they have, you know, the flat body and basically... The only thing I guess you could kind of get away with, I guess, would be the ass of Midna, but that's about it. Anything else would be like, no, nah, this form of Midna, this form in particular, that's lolly right there. That's 100% lolly. And I wouldn't be too surprised about that, honestly. So... If anything, that, that that would be the verdict of why I would say Mitna would be like a lolly or something like that. Also, who wouldn't want to bang Mitna lolly or not? I definitely would. Definitely gonna have some kids popping out of that. That's just gonna be how it is. Don't she doesn't have a hole? We'll find a way. Anyway. The only characters I know that has, that obviously you can't necessarily say, oh that's a lolly or something, will be someone on the grounds of like Ilulu or La Brava, honestly, which you know, because they have obviously a big jug and a big pair of ass titties. Ass titties? <laughs> what am I saying? Anyway, I'm bored. Look, when it comes down to things, those characters like that, those will be considered short stacks because yes, they're short. Yes, they might be young, but they have tits and that's the biggest thing that you need to focus on. Tanya Von Degurachev, Lolly, because she has the flattest of chest, she got the flattest of ass, but she can still get it. It doesn't necessarily matter if she died from one world and came to another one. It don't matter. It doesn't matter how her brain works or anything like that. As long as she has the body type of one, she is a lolly. Suck it. And I know somebody smoking weed is going to be like watching this video. They'll be like, 
Hey, if, if flat characters are, are lolly like, then what about Futaba from Persona 5, you know? That that works out in her favor. No, not really, because obviously she's short, but she's not all that short. Also, when it comes down to things, the game pretty much also makes her not lolly too. Like, they don't necessarily actively make her like, you know, a lolly like character. So that wouldn't necessarily work. Also, Futaba again isn't short, so that really doesn't work on any factor. Yeah, she might be flat as hell, but she still is not in that category, honestly. Inkling Girl, with the shiny ass booty that Nintendo continuously keeps giving her. Lolly. Gargura, Lolly. Yes, doesn't necessarily matter how you feel. She is one. It, it, it just is what it is, honestly. Just gonna have to deal with it. You don't like it? Too damn bad. I don't understand how people cannot understand that she's a lolly at all anyway. It's super weird. Sarda. Mmm. Mmm. Lolly. Let, let, let's, just, let's, just, let's just toss her the lolly gimmick. I ain't gonna say a lie. Like, yeah, she's not necessarily stacked up, but... Mmm. Let's, let's kind of... That, 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 I would say that's kind of a great one, honestly. Because you gotta say that's just a teen character at that point. Or, you know, a lolly. Doesn't necessarily matter. You can kinda go either way. It don't necessarily matter with that one. Behemawari, Lolly, Asa, Breedable, and all that shit. Straight Lolly. Yukari, Lolly, because it's my damn character. So F off. And one last thing I need to absolutely mention when it comes down to things. So hopefully, when it comes down to these rules, you or at least this type of examples I've been giving you, you understand where the whole Lolly thing kind of fits the bill and where everything kind of goes where it comes to these type of characters, all right? Hopefully, because we know Twitter people don't like to read or don't like to listen to half the video and they probably don't even listen to the whole thing of what I'm saying with this entire video right now because they're all inbred. But when it comes down to things, one thing I absolutely have to mention because this is the weirdest shit and this goes to Lollicons too. Do not, for whatever brain dead unhinged baiting ass reason, do not ever call a real life person a lolly especially when it fits in their age too that shit is weird that is some weird shit and we do not stand for that shit absolutely not that is the weirdest shit that you can possibly do or talk about or bring up because there's been multiple people that has gone around looking at real life pictures and been going using the uo type of sound and basically using the crying you know face that lolly people like to use for some reason and when it comes down to things that shit's weird stop doing that we only refer to anime and fiction alone that is it anything else no we gotta actually kick you in the face and stomp you in the nuts because that's how we gotta go but anyway that's the key thing i desperately wanted to get over because i've seen it and it's super freaking weird but anyway, that's basically all I really want to talk about for this one, so hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification on your way out. Also, follow me on the socials, and you'd like to donate to the channel, Patreon is available as well. And until then, it's Boy J, sign off. Have a blessed day.